Hi everyone, this is Kathy Bartuli from the IntimacyDojo.com, and we're here with Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. And our Sex Geek Shots! Well, we did a video <coughs> on how to find sex geeks, mm -hmm. and a bunch of people have asked, well, what's a sex, sex geek? So, if they're wearing a shirt like this, you're pretty certain they're a sex geek. We are clearly labeled very geeky. <laughs> Could you explain what a sex geek is? Yes. Um, I'm embarrassed to say that I do not know the actual definition, which I created offhand. You can go to urbandictionary.com and look up sex geek. I, that, that's my definition. Um, it's also on my website. And, and basically what a sex geek is, <clears throat> is anybody who takes pride and has excitement about having like really great communication skills, like black belt level relationship know-how and, and some sexual self-confidence and sharing those skill sets with other people. Um, no matter what those people's self-expression of life is. Um, you know, so whatever, however sex geek flows through you, you know, you're a sex geek. If you get excited about these kinds of, this information, you want to share it with other people. Mm -hmm. um, so you might study Tantra. That could be a form of you, sex geek. You could, be a, you could be a sex geek in Tantra. You could also study Tantra and not be a sex geek. Yeah. You could just be somebody who's like, you know, oh, like, <clears throat> Tantra helps me get into my body and I love breathing and I love being closer and more intimate to my partner and that's you know maybe you're not a sex geek <clears throat> um, it's no judgment it's not like something's broken if you're not a sex geek but sex geeks come in many different sizes and colors all different kinds of, of areas of study tantra polyamory monogamy like you could be you know, completely by the book, in the box, love, you know, you know, being married and conservative and, and having sex once a week, like, you can still be a sex geek, because mm -hmm. it's about your health and about, you know, communication and... Understanding and, more than what you figured out in fifth grade when you were talking behind the bleachers with your best friend. Exactly. Improving your life and hopefully the lives of others by taking sex from a negative place to to a place where we don't have to be ashamed about it mm -hmm. um, and willing to show up and do the work and realizing why that work is important um, and those people you know, I mean we're human beings too you know I still get cranky I still get snarky with my partner and we'll get into a fight and that will be a son of a bitch and not want to admit I was sorry um, <laughs> you know so it's not like sex geeks are the answer to your relationship woes, but people, who, yeah, people who think this kind of information is important, who get excited about it, um, you know, I think exploring your your life, your sexuality, your relationship styles, um, and surrounding yourself with people who are sex geeky um, might make for a better life. It's definitely very entertaining. Yes. Unless you think I'm a complete jackass, in which case maybe sex geeks are just annoying too. If you'd like to identify sex geeks, you can look for the t-shirt. Oh yeah, which, they're on my website. Yep, and it's a great way to identify other people and let them know that you're a sex geek too. It's fun. So, I hope this was helpful. Um, e email Kathy, let her, let her know at the Intimacy Dojo um, how and what you feel about being a sex geek. What kind of sex geek? Thanks, dude.